It's no secret that Stevie Ray Vaughan is the undisputed champion of Texas blues guitar, and his playing style, while often imitated, is never duplicated. But right now, I'm going to show you a simple hack that'll instantly make your playing sound like the man himself in celebration of his legacy for us guitar players for generations using what I like to call SRV-isms. Let me show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a closer look at what I just did and what makes it an SRV-ism. So as we know, Stevie Ray Vaughan was the master of disaster when it comes to the pentatonic scale. So all I'm essentially doing is taking a minor pentatonic scale and sprinkling in some of those SRV-isms I was talking about that make it very distinct and very clear that I'm imitating none other than Stevie Ray Vaughan himself. Let's take a look. So in the example for this hack, I was using the A minor pentatonic scale. which if you don't know it, it starts on the fifth fret of the low E string. We're gonna do five with our first finger and then eight with our pinky. We're gonna do five, seven on the A string with our first and third fingers. Five, seven on the D string. Five, seven on G. Five, eight, back to five, eight again on the B string. And then five, eight on the high E string. But I'm sure you knew that already. But in the example, I was playing through the scale in the form of three licks each with its own little SRV-ism peppered in there. So let's start with lick number one. So at the start of this lick, we're gonna be on the fifth fret of the D string with our first finger here. And then we're gonna play the seventh fret of the A string with our third finger. And then what we're gonna do is a quick hammer on and pull off with our first and second finger, still on the A string, between the fifth and sixth fret. All right, so we're gonna be hammering on, we're gonna pick on the fifth fret, hammer on the sixth, and then pull off back to five there. So we have. Then with our pinky, we're gonna reach over uh, to the eighth fret of the low E string, and then we're gonna play the uh, fifth fret in the low E string, and then end it on that octave of that note, which is the seventh fret on the D string. Give it a little vibrato. So short, sweet, to the point, but very SRV. Now in that lick, I'm pretty much just treading the line of the minor pentatonic scale, but what's different is this little thing right here. That simple little hammer on and pull off sequence is what makes this so SRV. Because if I just went down the scale like this, meh, it's just not really inspiring, doesn't really sound like anyone, just sounds like I just walk down the scale. But when I do this, there's all of a sudden so much character added to it. And this was such a common thing that Stevie did. You know, it was just that, it's a very vocal kind of thing where you're kind of, you know, uh, transferring between notes in a way that almost sounds like a vocal inflection, you know? And I mean, you can play that lick all day long and it just sounds like Stevie every time. But we still got two more licks. Here's lick number two. Lick number two ventures smack dab in the middle of the minor pentatonic scale. And we start with the uh, fifth fret on the D string with our first finger, and then seventh fret with our third finger, same string. Then we're gonna do five, six, seven on the G string here with our first, second, and third fingers. Then we're gonna do what's called a trill. So it's a repeated back and forth between two notes and it's gonna be a hammer on and pull off kind of thing from the fifth fret and the sixth fret on the G string. All right, so we're just doing a repeated hammer on and pull off and we just end it with uh, the fifth fret on the G string. So we have. Now, the, you know, the trill is one of those things where it's not as important how many times you trill it. I'd say what I just did was kind of the minimum amount of time, you know, if it's just kind of a passing lick but you can hold that trill if you want to. It's a good exercise, you know, just to kind of get your, the, build some acrobatics in your fingers of going back and forth. It's definitely a challenge, you know? But, you know, just to kind of keep it simple, if you want to follow the tab, it's just a very, very uh, short trill. You know, and that right there, that little, that little trill, if you're picking up by now, that's the SRV-ism, because otherwise, 
was pretty much just walking through the scale normally, which the notes in the scale in this particular region where we're playing the lick are not very interesting, All right? What we're doing is we're, we're, we added an extra note there, right? The, the sixth fret on the G string. And then we came back, gave it that little trill right there. Total SRVism. And finally, we have lick number three, which looks like this. All right, and with this lick, we're in the upper part of the minor pentatonic scale, the B and the high E strings. And we're gonna start with our first finger on the fifth fret of the B string. Then our pinky is gonna extend over to the eighth fret. Then we're gonna play the fifth fret on the high E string with our first finger. Then we're gonna play the seventh fret with our third finger here on the same string. Then we're gonna do that passing hammer on pull off thing again between the fifth fret and the sixth fret on the high E string. All right, so, so far we have. All right, it's already sounding super SRV. All right, but then from there, we're gonna come back to the eighth fret on the B string. And then we're gonna play the fifth fret on the high E and then the B string. All right, so you can bar your finger for that just to make it easier. So you can just cover both strings. So just barring your finger on the fifth fret of the high E, uh, high e and the B strings. Then with our pinky, we're gonna reach to the eighth fret of the high E string and do what's called a quarter step or a blues bend, where we just bend it ever so slightly, right? And then we just stop the note before it bends any further, All right? So you wanna, you wanna kinda get to right as it's starting to register as a bend, right? That's kinda where you wanna stop the, the it kinda has a certain attitude, you know, when you play it like that, as opposed to like, or like, you don't want to bend, you know, too far ahead. So you just want to do a slight bend and then mute it. So, so far we have. Just like that. Now let's take a look at the SRV-ism within this lick. So we start with the, you know, upper part of the minor pentatonic scale. And then once we get here, you know, you may be noticing a pattern in terms of these little hammer-on pull-offs or trills, you know, across the same frets, mind you, right? We're doing between the fifth fret and the sixth fret. So we've done that for all three of the licks so far. So we do that, that kind of vocal pass through, right? To kind of create that vocal inflection. All right, then we go. And then we give it that super full of attitude blues bend, right? Now, if I were to isolate these little SRV isms in each lick, you know, it would sound like this which on their own don't sound like anything. They definitely don't sound like SRV, but when they're used in the context of the minor pentatonic scale, it sounds totally like the man himself. And you can play those three licks in succession and it sounds, they just flow nicely, you know? But here's the crazy part. You can play this in any key. It doesn't have to be a minor pentatonic. These essentially fall in line with the shape of the minor pentatonic pattern. So you can move these licks to any key. Like let's say if you wanted to move them to the key of C, right? C minor pentatonic. You would essentially just adapt, right? These licks to this new position and you have some SRV licks in a new key. You know, it doesn't matter. You want, I don't know, you want the key of F sharp, or F sharp minor, right? We can do that. I'm telling you, you can move these SRV isms to any minor pentatonic scale anywhere on the neck if you want to transpose them to different keys, and bam, you've moved them to whatever key you want, and there is pretty much no key that you wouldn't play those SRV isms in. So it's just that tiny little hack. You can spice up your minor pentatonic scale and make it totally sound like something SRV would play. In fact, it's all derived off of stuff SRV has played. Hence, it is a perfect way to celebrate the legacy that he has left behind for us guitar players. Now, if you need to revisit any part of this lesson, just rewind the video, rewatch those parts as many times as it takes till you get it down. So you just learned a killer hack to add some Stevie Ray Vaughan isms to your guitar playing. I think you're primed and ready to take it to the next level. That's why I'm giving you this free blue solo heat map. This has helped thousands of guitar players play red hot blue solos all over the guitarist fretboard. So be sure to click here to grab your copy or check the link in the description box.
And if you enjoyed this lesson, you know the drill, be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and be sure to check out our other relevant lessons right over here. I wanna thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. I'm Eddie with Guitar Mastery Method and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.